Hello and welcome to Emerald Meadows, your uh, shop for RC and crafts. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, batteries, specifically the LIHV batteries. Uh, these are batteries I purchased because, uh, because of uh, all the things I've read about extending the times and the weight. And uh, if you're flying quads, and I've really gotten into quads this year, um, extending my flight times is really important for both racing and for scenery and photographic. Um, so I thought, hey, let's give these batteries a try. And I purchased two of the uh, 2200 three cells and one of the uh, 20, uh, 2400 uh, four cells uh, to see uh, how they react. Um, it's the one thing you need to know about the LIHVs is that you do need a, a special charger. And uh, I purchased the, uh, the, the Sky RC. Uh, the D100, uh, it does LIHV as well as um, as well as two um, as well as two batteries simultaneously. Um, I've been using it for a while. It, it's really good. I don't need to review it. I think pretty much everybody in the hobby knows uh, how to how to charge the batteries and which are good chargers and which aren't. Uh, now for the batteries, uh, I have some mixed reviews on the LIHVs. Uh, my initial excitement has become very tempered uh, with some anxiety. Um, the, the, the flights that I've run over the last couple of days on the 2400 uh, LIHV 3 cells, it's been favorable. Uh, I've extended my flight times at least 20 to 25 percent um, and uh, I've been very impressed. In the, in the Nova, um, uh, I'm getting at least 25 percent more time flying really enjoyable being able to cruise up there and uh, and enjoy the scenery. I haven't put it in a racing quad yet because um, um, it, there hasn't been a need and to be honest with you I just haven't had time to do it. Where I have the mixed reviews is on the um, 4S's. Um, the 4S. Uh, there is a, a significant uh, a significant difference in size uh, and in weight um, and I was hoping to be able to get as much flight time with this uh, 2.4 amp as I do with this 5.2 amp uh, on my uh, on my tarot build, um, and uh, I haven't got that much on it because I've had errors on this battery. In fact, I've had a couple of crashes um, with um, with uh, with this quad. It's actually been it's damaged my my landing gear a couple of times. Uh, when I installed the battery the first time, um, the, the quad came down out of the sky and I checked my battery voltage uh, as I did here and it read zero volts. I thought, did I not charge it correctly? I wasn't sure what I did wrong. Uh, so I brought it back and um, it was odd though. It was, it was flying fine and then it just dropped out of the sky. Kind of unusual. I then recharged it again, the battery seemed fine, uh, the uh, internal resistance was still low, uh, recharged it, and I just flew it recently, and I had my OSD on, and I watched it carefully, and I kind of flew it over something that I thought would give me a soft landing, and at about 15 volts, the voltage just dropped. It went from 15 volts down to 11.5 volts, in a matter of seconds and my quad came down to the ground uh, causing causing this damage uh, and this was repaired from the crash I had the, the uh, a couple of days ago uh, where the uh, quad came hurling down from space uh, so I don't know what the problem is uh, and I'm kind of nervous not only is it this just this one battery is it, is it an LIHV problem? Am I going to have problems with these other quads? Because one of the reasons I, I wanted to purchase these is to extend my flight times. And also when I'm flying FPV, I'm flying out of range. So I, I don't mind my batteries getting lower and I then know to return to home. But dropping out of the skies, that's pretty scary. Um, so uh, in closing, let me just read here. Um, yeah, like I said, the amazing part was um, uh, the amazing part is that I kept my OSD on and I was watching the voltage carefully, and it just dropped, boom, 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 just like that, as if someone just turned a, turned a switch off. So uh, I'm going to get in touch with uh, Hobby King, who distributed the Bolt, 
and uh, get some feedback. And then I'll do a subsequent review uh, and see if we get a repair and see if it's just this battery or she is systemic. One more final vote. Um, other people in our club have the Bolt uh, batteries as well. And they've had some peculiar um, results as well. It lasted long, but the quad kind of uh, jumped around a bit. Um, verdict is still out on this one. Like I said, so far the, the, uh, the three cells have been responding very well. Uh, the four cell, either this is just one damaged battery or whether it is a systemic problem. I don't know, but I'll get back to you on part two on the LAHV saga, uh, and hopefully we can get this resolved. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you like this video, please say like and subscribe if you want to see more videos on these topics. And we'll see you next time at Emerald Meadows. Bye-bye for now, and thanks for watching.